alunos, a fim de mantermos o decreto e continuarmos o seu desenvolvimento na língua, a gente vai disponibilizar para vocês em formato digital as videoaulas com o intuito de continuar a nossa missão e de principalmente intensificar o seu projeto, o seu desejo, sua vontade de aprender o idioma inglês. Então, vamos lá! Hello guys, how are you? Fine? Let's go to our April 10th class. On this text, on today's text, we'll talk about the Titanic, right? We have some curiosity, some information, because the Titanic set sail on this date, on April 10th, 1912, okay? Some verbs from the text. We have the verbs to hear, to remain, to dive, to embark, to hit, to disappear, to be, to take, to create, and to kill. On the first exercise, letter A, you guys had to copy verbs. So we have the verbs make, verbs from the video. Make, looking, arrive, receive, is, celebrate, assist, turn, tap, feel, touch, imagine, sit, hear, told. We have a lot of verbs. On letter B, you had to talk about the activities from that are mentioned on the video. So, an interactive self-guided journey through Titanic, such as steering the ship, sitting on a lifeboat, and tapping SOS. And let us see, you have to say what you could be, what you would do if you could be on Titanic. For example, I would like the parties at the ballroom. All right? Then, seniors and masters had to say what was, what was their favorite attraction and say what they would do if they could be, the, if they could be on the Titanic. So, for example, my favorite attraction is steering the ship because I have always wanted to be the captain of a ship. I would like to enjoy the weather and the ocean because they make me feel calm. Good? So let's go to our review. Here, guys, we're going to talk about three modal verbs. Modal verbs. Can, could, and may. First, let's talk about can. What are the four uses that we usually have for can? Can can be used for present, ability. It can be used for informal requests, informal permission, And also, it can be used to talk about possibilities. Okay? Could is very similar. Could can be used to talk about past abilities. It can be used for formal requests it can also be used to talk about formal permission permission and for remote possibility these are the four uses for could And may, to conclude, can be used for permission, formal permission, and also to talk about possibilities. All right? For example, let's see. 
some examples here. Let's do one using can. She can embark on Roberto Carlos cruise next year. For example, right? One example using could. Now, using, for example, the verb to take. I could not take the ship to Aruba. For example, all right? And one using may. Uh, may I be on the next boat to the Bahamas? All right? So now, Watch your live class, talk to your teacher, solve your doubts, and see you next class. Okay? Thank you and bye-bye.